Hello fabulous superstar Aries welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020 I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw thank you for being here it is a remarkable astrological month right out of the gate we are still in a period between eclipses and it will be right around the 5th of July that we will have our final of three eclipses most of June was spent in eclipse season we had a rare series taking place not just two eclipses back to back but a total of three and that caps off this month and early this month at that but it isn't just about this eclipse but rather you have had eclipses taking place at particularly sensitive parts of your sky for the better part of the last two years it was way back two years ago in July that we had our first eclipse at the foundation of your chart and preceding that we started to have eclipses at the top of your sky and at the most private part of your sky well this is the final of this series that has been with you wrapping up larger lessons in important ways now you have had to look at how you feel about your alignment with life purpose and if you truly feel in alignment with a life purpose or not you've had to look at where you are in terms of your career and how you feel about that there have been moments of new opportunities but more importantly and likely moments where you've realized that perhaps what is not for you what pathways or what goals are no longer worth pursuing for you it is going to be this eclipse that will bring the larger eclipse season to a close and on July 5th when this eclipse takes place it is a lunar eclipse and so it represents a closure now chances are as you are starting the month you can already feel it building you know that there is change afoot your own intuition may be especially high where it comes to matters of career and life purpose but it is going to be this eclipse that makes it more clear this eclipse will be speaking in supreme harmony with the Uranus so these are some interesting energies here on the one hand a lunar eclipse brings closure on the other hand that connection to Uranus is about fresh energy it is about new beginnings it is about leaping into your future for some this may be a time when it feels like there is career advancement it may very well take you by surprise but at the same time feels like it comes after a period of dedication but for others it may feel as if there are changes that have been long overdue that finally now are coming to pass and with a closure there is the promise of a brand new beginning that resonates more deeply as the path that is right for you now it will be two weeks later right around the 20th of July that we are going to have this month's new moon but what makes this new moon especially meaningful is that it is taking place in the same part of the sky that we had a solar eclipse in a month earlier and this is important for a few reasons that solar eclipse that I spoke about last month happened at the very beginning of its respective sign solar eclipses are new moons that are especially powerful they indicate brand new beginnings and given that that solar eclipse happened at what we as astrologers call zero degrees it truly was a beginning a seed moment mercury was also retrograde at that time but now as we fast forward to this new moon it is not an eclipse so it is still a new beginning but it is happening at the very end of its respective sign and you add to this the fact that Saturn is standing across the sky with precision and Saturn has to do with time and manifestation as well and so I do feel like this new moon is going to bring forward and help you truly feel a beginning in the same area of life that was highlighted last month which has to do with home in terms of where you live in terms of buying selling moving new roommate or your family of origin your parents in particular where that applies but what I think is going to be very likely here is that you are going to be given a chance to truly understand how much you want the past to continue to influence the present and the future that you feel yourself moving towards with a sense of culmination and closure also is a beginning also is a new chapter whether that involves physically changing locations and what you understand as home or whether it is a more personal understanding 
This is where a sense of acceptance can ultimately allow you to begin again with a deeply rooted beginning this time that comes from a place of honesty, that comes from a place of ownership for your own happiness. Whenever Saturn is involved, one of the higher spiritual lessons of Saturn always is to take ownership for our own happiness, to understand what it is that we are manifesting and how we feel about it, and to come from and to come at life from a place of integrity. You may be asked to do that now, where it comes to your home and where it comes to your family of origin. But I do think that you will meet this opportunity for a new beginning. And as much as you are able to ask yourself some questions that may be hard, especially if you had your heart set on a particular beginning that started a month earlier, well, as you face those tough questions, you will find answers that are real, that are honest, allowing you to make a more grounded decision to move forward from here. For some, this is going to be what you thought was beginning, really is not meant to. For others, it's going to be a reality check, what you have begun, what you're actually manifesting, and how to refine your way forward. Regardless, it is a new beginning, new opportunity, fresh energy all around starting at this time for you. Now for you, I also do want to mention uh, something intriguing that is gonna be happening towards the end of the month, right around the 29th of July, is when Mars will enter shadows. So I have been talking about this in the weekly horoscopes on my YouTube channel, and of course in the superstar space as well. But it was late last month that Mars, your ruling planet, entered your sign, bringing fresh and exciting energy. But it is going to be at the end of this month that Mars will enter shadow, meaning that Mars will begin to walk the path that he will later this year begin to walk backwards on, begin to go retrograde on. And so as you are finishing this month, I would invite you to pay attention what is happening in your life at that time. Chances are, as you navigate further into the fall, you will be revisiting it in some way. And very likely what you observe is going to be rooted in your understanding of your own power, the limits of your power as well. The larger lesson of Mars is always the serenity affirmation. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Those are three places of profound understanding of your own power. And those three stances on a soul level put you in a position of power at that. There are going to be larger lessons around these themes for you that start to show up as you navigate towards the end of this month that will be more fully fleshed out and realized as we move forward in the larger Mars retrograde season. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way and of course keep your eyes out this month for a Mars retrograde season special horoscope and that'll be coming up on YouTube. Now where it comes to matters of love, we are wrapping up a Venus retrograde season and it is going to be right around the time that Mars enters shadow that Venus will be leaving shadow. But just as Venus gears up to leave shadow, she will be reaching out and connecting with Neptune. Now this has been part of an ongoing dance. If you think back to May, these planets held a conversation and I feel like this is an important turning moment. Keep your eyes out to what is happening in your life right around the 24th and 25th because I think that is when a whole lot of emotion is going to be coming to the surface for a lot of us out there and that includes you as well. This is where, where it comes to love, an understanding on a mind level, a conversation is attempting to reach your heart. Your answers may not necessarily be very clear just yet, but they will in due course. But this is where you want to be sure you're being kind and patient to yourself where it comes to how you're communicating and how you are perceiving the communication of others. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, if you are connecting with people online, Keep in mind that especially as we navigate late into the month, where it is that you have been filling in blanks, if you will. And what I mean by that is uh, you meet somebody online, what is the reality and what may be presented to you. If there's a disconnect and if this has represented a pattern 
Some of that may show up for you as you navigate towards the later days of this month. However, we also have an opportunity here for you to look at your own dreams, your own hopes, your own wishes to get clear on that as you meet new people. But Mars in your sign has you feeling brave and bold and motivated and that Mars in your sign alone does speak to having powerful interactions and flirtations with others. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I see the energy working out a couple of different ways. On the one hand, Mars in your sign is motivating you to connect, uh, maybe motivating an increase of intimacy as well. However, once we navigate towards the later days of the month and Venus and Neptune start uh, moving towards an exact and final moment of their larger dance that has been with us through the spring, certainly, well, it is going to be that moment where you may be questioning how you really feel, what you are being told, and the conversations that you're having with this person may leave you with mixed feelings. Now, what you do with that is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. And if you are in an established bond, I would say if there are important conversations that need to happen, I would avoid the days around the 24th and 25th, especially the days leading up to it, if it is all possible, because you may end up feeling more confused than if you just hadn't uh, dived into an important conversation. Now, of course, if it shows up for you, then trust what it is that does show up. I would also add, if it is that you live with this person that you are in a committed relationship with, well, that is where there may feel like there is some uh, lack of being on the same page where it comes to an important matter having to do with your living situation. If it is that you were hoping to live with this person that you're in a committed relationship with, again, there may be a need for some compromise that leaves you with mixed feelings. Now, it doesn't mean that whatever shows up can't be worked through. Absolutely, it can. But especially when I look at the days around the new moon, three weeks into this month, well, it does suggest that compromise may not come easy, but it can be found. What I love about this month for you, there is so much here, but I am going to say, you know, you are at the beginning of an incredibly important journey of Mars spending an unusually long time in your sign. You are gonna have Mars spending months in your sign right into the new year. And this is gonna be a time that helps you to connect with your deeper truth. Those larger lessons that are gonna be coming back around as you navigate further into the year, they will start to show themselves this month. Pay attention to your life because you are connecting with one of the most remarkable sources of power within you now. It is the power of knowing your truth and knowing what it is to live it more fully. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.